the outside of the boiler, you can get kind of an aspect ratio of the overall height of the boiler versus our crane setup. Uh, this is actually a three crane setup. We're missing one right now. You can see in the background it'll be walked over tomorrow. In the meantime, it's being used for structural steel setting and other rebar tasks. We look at the boiler, you can kind of get another perspective of what it looks like versus the combustion turbine building. So let's take a look at the modules. There's 14 modules. Two of each are going to replicate each other. Uh, there's an A and B line, so seven total rows. And to get these modules from the lay down area in the actual job site where they'll be picked up the crane and set in strong back or cradle assembly, barnhart crane and rigging devised a pretty intricate setup. They got an 18 axle trailer, uh, each axle they know it as a line, and in that line there's eight wheels, so 144 total tires on this tra trailer, and each axle is independently hydraulically controlled by an operator at the head or the tail unit of this trailer. In this case he's operating from the head of the trailer. Uh, the truck, dual V12 engines. So, a lot of horsepower, more so a lot of torque on this truck to move these big units. Now what you're seeing right now is actually the first module, the first part of the high pressure section known as the third reheater and the third and fourth uh, high pressure superheat. Uh, right now Barnhart's moving it out into the yard so Bolt can get ready to do a pick on it and possibly move this bundle into the boiler by tomorrow. Well, to pick up a little bit where we left off earlier with bringing the module from the yard onto the actual job site itself, I'm a little closer to the hearse outside of it now, and it's kind of hard to get a full view of the crane with a small camera, but at any rate, Barnhart made it through the gate. Here comes our Reheater 3 and the HP Superheat 3 and 4 section. Uh, they're backing it onto the mat where these three cranes, when the third crane gets positioned, will pick this module and get it positioned into that cradle right there known as a strong back crane. Now this module, as I stated before, is 138,000 pounds, which is one of our lighter modules. Uh, the heaviest being right around the 300,000 pound range, and that's the evaporator section and the flow pressure section of this unit. It gives you kind of an idea how that 18 axle trailer works and rolls across those mats with that dual V12 truck. Well, it stemmed from when we actually got the module in the yard. The module that Barnhart did move yesterday that we've seen in a previous clip. You get kind of an idea now how this model is going to be placed in the strong back frame assembly. If you take a look around, you can see all sorts of boilermakers and safety people in the area so we don't have any unauthorized entrance and you can kind of see how our third reheater, third and fourth superheater module is being picked. Uh, the vertical or the horizontal lifting frame assembly which is about 49,000 pounds and then the 138,000 pound module assembly. Uh, we've got a pretty nice operation going here. The short Manitowoc crane, I believe it's a 350 ton crane, will be the crane responsible for picking the modules off the Goldhofer trailer or the 18 axle trailer if you would, from Barnhart. And from that frame, uh, the crane will take and swing 180 degrees and place the actual module in that strong back frame assembly that you've also seen on some previous clips. Now before all this takes place, they have the associative pre-planned, pre-rigging and pre-picking meetings uh, before they actually pick the module assembly and put it into the boiler with the free crane operation. We'll have a, a longer, uh, more thorough picking plan meeting here with both staff and basin staff and of course the union groups. In the meantime, we'll keep moving modules in and positioning them and staging them for hopefully a smooth operation. You can see the number of spotters they have for this operation and of course the number of tag lines to give you kind of an idea just how serious they are taking it as they should and what sort of safety precautions that are involved with this sort of pick. As I said before, this is not the heaviest module but by size it's one of the larger 
modules that is eventually. I can kind of get an idea the magnitude of the crane setup, uh, magnitude of the control of the whole operation because it is a very closely, closely knit, closely placed crane operation as far as picking the modules from the Goldhofer trailer, the 18 axle trailer, uh, moving them into the strong back assembly and eventually uh, picking the strong back assembly into the air with the three cranes and setting the module in the hearse. Everything's going smooth so far. I don't know if I mentioned, but the crane in the background, which is the Manitowoc Maxer crane, is a 500 ton crane. And that crane will be the actual crane that's responsible for setting the module inside the boiler. Not exactly entirely sure how many feet of main boom is on the crane. But adequate height to pick the module and set it in the hearse. You can kind of see now that they've made their 180 degree rotation. If all goes well, it should be set into the strong back within the next few minutes. So far, so good.